Imagine a therapy that uses electromagnetic energy to help the brain recover from injuries. Sounds futuristic, right? Well, it's already in the research phase and the results are promising. A recently published independent study with 43 participants conducted by researchers from the University of Utah, led by Dr. Elizabeth Wild, explores how photobiomodulation, or PBM, can support brain health. In this study, they used the V-Lite NeuroGamma device to target the brain transcranially and intranasally with high-powered 810 nanometer light energy. Brain photobiomodulation, or brain PBM, is a non-invasive therapy that uses light-emitting diodes, also known as LEDs, to deliver near-infrared light to the brain. This process boosts energy production, improves blood flow, promotes cell survival, and reduces inflammation by modulating light-sensitive mitochondria and other biological processes. Optimized brain photobiomodulation technology produces full contact with the scalp to minimize hair interference and utilizes high-powered LEDs to drive near-infrared energy through the skull. In addition to its brain benefits, PBM was explored to see if it could improve physical abilities. Things like reaction time, grip strength, dexterity, and balance in athletes with a history of repetitive head acceleration events. In this study, 43 participants aged 18 to 69 who reported mild traumatic brain injuries, MTBI, or repeated head impacts from sports and other activities used the V-Lite NeuroGamma. The study aimed to explore how intranasal and transcranial PBM affects neuromuscular health. Participants self-administered PBM treatments at home. Using the V-Lite NeuroGamma, they delivered 20-minute treatments every other day for eight weeks. Throughout the study, four physical tests were used to measure improvements. One, reaction time, catching a falling stick. Two, dexterity, placing pegs in small slots. Three, grip strength, measuring hand force. Four, balance, a mini best test that evaluates 14 balance tasks. After eight to 10 weeks of PBM treatments, participants showed significant improvements. Reaction time improved by 19 milliseconds. Grip strength increased by up to 3.7 kilograms. Balance scores rose by 1.32 points. The results are encouraging, especially since this therapy is easy to use, safe, and affordable. This study suggests that intranasal and transcranial photobiomodulation using the V-Lite NeuroGamma has the potential to improve brain and neuromuscular function in people with head injuries. As we continue to explore PBM, the future looks bright. Interested in learning more about how PBM can support brain health? Visit v to explore the science and possibilities. You can see some uh, visible changes, primarily in those functional images, the resting state images. Um, there looks like there's additional, um, we call it coherence, um, within the networks uh, that we typically measure using those types of MRI um, assessments. So you can actually see the strength of the connections improving. Uh, in those images. Doing this type of research for 25 years, I think we, we're kind of onto something that might actually help people that are typically overlooked by a lot of uh, professionals because they are really difficult to treat. So Larry's story was kind of our first introduction to uh, photobiomodulation and um, it was a really interesting story and a very compelling, uh, though anecdotal, uh, and it wasn't until he actually showed us his uh, brain scans uh, where he was showing us the effects of the light therapies that he underwent on his resting state functional MRIs that uh, we really began to look at this and go, there's something here we need to kind of take a look at this and see if uh, we can understand, you know, how this is impacting uh, functional um, activity in the brain.
Well, again, it has such a low um, side effect pro profile that there's really no dangers to, to trying it. It's a really promising technology. I think there's still a lot we don't know, and a lot of research is sort of needed, desperately needed, to, to move this into a space where it can be available to everybody. And so all of the, the studies that we're doing involve people that have had a history, usually of repetitive head hits. Uh, most of them are ex-athletes or current athletes. We're doing a, a pre, uh, pre pre-treatment, post-treatment design, where we test them and scan them before they undergo the, the treatment. It's an eight-week treatment. And then we scan and test them again um, after the treatment is, is completed. Most interesting uh, thing to us has been that not a single one of them wanted to give the device back. There's three primary mechanisms that people have considered as to ways that this may be helping. So the first is it improves circulation. So there are um, there are some ways that the, the light affects the vessels and the release of nitrous oxide that actually improves circulation. The second mechanism is, is it addresses mitochondrial dysfunction. So it allows um, energy to pr be produced in a more efficient way. And then the third mechanism is to address inflammation. So there are some thoughts that, um, that the, the light may actually play an important role in reducing inflammatory processes that may occur from a host of different kinds of injury. I love football. I always have loved football. I loved everything about it. But I paid a heavy price. Um, about 20 years, ago I started feeling symptoms uh, related to what I later found out to be a brain injury as a result of football. It started to build to the point where it became very, almost debilitating at times. It was suggested that we go visit Dr. Nazer at the Boston VA because she was having success treating vets, Gulf War vets with near infrared light. And we started a six week protocol where they would shine near infrared light on my head for 20 minutes, three days a week. I'm using the device for three years, over three years now, and I'm still finding changes going on, positive uh, changes with, that affects my relationship with my wife, uh, with my children, my adult children, and with my coworkers, and with, especially with my grandchildren.